For about a century, psychologists and educators have wondered how humans learn. While a number of different perspectives have emerged from all of that effort, four are more commonly recognized. The first of these is behaviorism. The behaviorist believes that humans learn as a reaction to environmental variables. A person who's been bitten by a snake has learned to be more careful when walking through the woods. Behaviorism is the method used to train circus animals or family pets. When your dog exhibits some desired behavior, you reward him with praise or a treat, and that reward tends to lead to repeated good behavior. At some point, though, psychologists began to rebel against the idea that humans learn simply as a reaction to the environment. There would seem to be something going on inside the human mind other than simply reacting to some external stimulus. In short, humans think. Because of that, a new perspective emerged that's called cognitive constructivism. This is a 25 cent word that simply means that humans construct knowledge from their thoughts, not just as a reaction to some outside stimulus. The cognitive constructivist would say that it's important that we teach a way that facilitates the construction of a mental framework to hold new ideas. A third perspective later arose that's called humanism. The humanist believes that, as humans, we all desire to improve our lives. And training gives us the means to do so. The humanist would hold that experiential learning is superior to simply reading something in a book. Thus, the humanist would prefer to see a classroom full of students who are engaged in learning by applying bandages to each other rather than reading a first aid book. One of the most recent learning theories is called social constructivism. Social constructivists believe that the most important factor in human learning is the emulation of a good example. They would say that we are a social animal and like a lion cub learning to hunt by following its mother's example, humans learn by following examples. To a social constructivist, the best way to teach would be to use a system like internships or apprenticeships so students can learn by example. It is important for you to understand these four perspectives as you begin to create your own classes. Just thinking about how humans learn will help you better relate to those whom you're trying to teach. One of the more important assignments this week is a case study where you are presented with a situation and asked to determine what sort of perspective is being used and if that is the best way to approach this training situation. Good luck with your work and remember, Help is only a phone call or a click away. Mm -hmm.